Hey there YouTubers, welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. In this lesson, uh, titled Why Me? Why Use Me? Dot, I had a, a question in my inbox this afternoon when I got home from work, and somebody said, Why do you use me? Dot something rather instead of using like user form one dot blah 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 or whatever and uh, I do it uh, for one simple reason if you want me to oversimplify it's because I'm lazy uh, but it's more than that it's actually a very useful tool and I'll show you some really amazing things that you can do with that so let's get started as you know alt f11 and get into the visual basic editor open that right up and get started what I want to do is uh, you can see I already have a lot of forms and modules in here let's go ahead and make a new user form um, and we're going to right off the bat we're going to name it again I'm going to close that if you don't have the properties window hit F4 yeah, but I do have it open now I'm going to name this one by default this one is called user form 3 it's the progression there was already two user forms user form 1 and user form 2 we're going to rename this um, how about let's rename it something complicated like some people put FRM and they start using capital letters for so we're gonna call this form payroll assistant 2013 whatever you know that's a huge name so then let's double click on uh, let's say an option button that says uh, click here I don't know this is too basic but just just throwing that out there let's double click on the button here and when we double click on it it brings option button one dot click or underscore click so when you're working within that let's say you wanted to do something with uh, oh let's double click on our user form I'm sorry let's we would need something else that we need to reference how about let's put a button right here this is cool we'll change the caption of the button I'm gonna leave it blank for now so whenever we click this button we're gonna make the when we click the option button it will make this button say something on the front of it or we could even change the size anything but double click on that option button and we're going to say see normally you'd have to reference the user form by name FRM payroll assistant 2013 dot uh, what was it called command button one dot caption equals snake okay so a very simple macro when we click on the option button uh, then the user form name dot command button one's caption uh, is going to be snake right now it doesn't have a caption so let's go ahead and load it up hit um, the play button so here's your user form pops up if I click on this button what do you know it says snake now and that's all it does but okay just for example sake alright now now let's assess this what if you had like a huge macro where you're referencing all kinds of things in that user form you really want to type out FRM payroll assistant 2013 that many times no well anytime you're in a particular module or class module uh, or even a user form which is an advanced class module I guess um, you can refer to it as me now you have to be in that module so M E dot and you'll notice whenever you're in this user form on one of the buttons or, or something that you can type me dot and you have all the command buttons or whatever is assigned into that user form now when I come over to a different user form like this hide form right here when I double click on something and I type uh, me dot I find that there are different buttons than the other one and different command buttons than the other one because this me now equals any kind of thing that is um, applicable to the hide form instead of typing hide form dot blah 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 I could just say me dot same thing with a module let's swing over here to one of our modules that has some codes in it um, anytime I do a me dot uh, you, it could be referring to 
uh, an object. Now I don't use that much in modules. Whoops. All right. Uh, also, another thing, um, you could refer to one of the procedures in in your uh, macro, I believe, with the me dot. But also, I don't know if you know this, if you need to reference another, if you needed to reference something from a user form, uh, you could not say me because how would Excel know which one you're when you which one you're wanting? But let's say I was in this module that I'm currently in, and I wanted to reference something that's in the functions one module. I would type functions one dot and then name whatever it is that you need to do. Or yeah, I would say functions one dot blah blah blah. Uh, also. Uh, let's say I wanted something from the wizard nap, which is a user form, wizard nap dot, and then uh, you could start referencing a button, let's say, uh, dot caption, and then you could make the uh, caption on that button on the wizard nap be that. So that's how to use the me object. Uh, also, we talked a little bit about referencing other um, user forms or other modules within uh, fr from, a, from a separate one. Also, uh, a little bit on, on worksheets. If you had a worksheet function, like let's go into the combo box, continued worksheet, and we'll click here and go to worksheet. Um, and we wanted to do a selection change. So anytime you click on a different cell, it'll run this macro. That's a. Uh, you could refer to me dot and in that case uh, that would be referring to the object that you're currently in which is sheet 8 or the combo box continued sheet so any me dots in that case would be referring to the this uh, uh, the, or the sheets object just like whenever we say sheets and we're talking about you know whatever whatever the name of the sheet is like chart 1 there's a sheet right down here. So, um, uh, and last thing, uh, I guess when you're using this workbook, when you're making macros for, let's say, when the workbook opens or when it closes or whatever, uh, when you type me, well, you guessed it, it's typing, it is referring to the this workbook object. So me dot means this workbook dot. So me dot sheets or me dot whatever is me dot save or save as blah 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 okay so me is really awesome why is that awesome uh, I think we went over that um, uh, and um, even if you're let, let's go over back to this uh, user form here um, see how the name is really long we talked about that let's say the name was pretty easy we'd call it my form okay that's easy enough well sure you say maybe sure I could I could I could type you know my form dot whatever and you know my form dot blah 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 else however here's the deal let's say a year down the road or maybe even shorter something happens and you need to rename this form uh oh guess what everything that says my form is no longer gonna work but if everything said me dot then you just go over here you change the name of it and it needs to be called my form 25 for whatever reason and uh, guess what this me dot object this variable that's built into Excel still works pretty sweet start using it guys uh, it's a huge time saver and you don't have to fish for what names what needs to be renamed or what needs to be retyped over very useful I highly recommend thanks for watching God bless guys